Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever it is in your local time frame of the world. Welcome to another episode of Minecraft Inferno. Today, we're getting in a fight. Uh, we defeated the Bell Ringer once before, but I need more of its phantoplasm. So we're going to defeat him again. I've got the Bell Ringer Pearl to summon him up. But this time, we're going to have some friends along. So let's get into it. Ah, uh, here we are, just, just, just hanging out in the house. Um, I do record these live at twitch.tv slash so you can come on out, hang out, and watch me do fun things like set up more of the auto crafting system, and I have the warehouse block for my colony's warehouse tied in through this uh, entangled block, so I now have access to everything that's in the warehouse. So the 31,000 copper nuggets between what I've got up in the drawers and in the warehouse all right here. 309 poppies stored in the warehouse. I have access to them. Uh, I also have the, this entangler set up to the chest over here by my bees. Automatically pulling out some of the resources I may need for some things. I'll just grab that sand here real quick while we're here. Um, figured villages is expanding, growing, and updating. Let's go do... Nice little tour. Got the, the the tavern just recently got upgraded. We got some guard huts. The forester, the sawmill, our library and school. Um, homes have been getting upgraded. This is the university here. I need to do a boss fight to upgrade that. That is in the plans. We got our, our uh, sifter's hut, enchanting tower. The warehouse is just getting huge as we go, and it's still got another level to go. That's a level four uh, guard tower right there. Plantation, glass blower's hut. Another nice little home. Our uh, Fletcher's hut. And just other fun things around. Our nether mine. Nether mine to the nether mine. That that is upgrade coming soon. We have the graveyard out here next to my summoning area. So yeah, the, the level level four holds. I like the uh, outdoor balcony deck sitting area on those homes. But that is that is the the fun that has been have being had between episodes. More bees getting added all the time. Heck, I don't need to go downstairs to get to the arena. But we do have a fight planned for today. So I want to put a couple of things away. Stuff I'm not going to need. So I don't accidentally warp myself somewhere. Yes, I guess I want to put the spell book here. So I have quicker access to it. And... Made a rallying banner recently. Real easy to make. Rallying banner, just some bows, a couple of guard towers, some swords, and a yellow banner. And then I went around and shift right clicked on a handful of the uh, guard huts and added them to the rallying list. So now, whenever I happen to be somewhere, I can just right, see, right click this. Nope, shift right click. Shift right click this out in the open air. And eight guards will come running to answer my call. So when the majority of them get here... when they Because they don't, they don't teleport, they do have to you know, run to come here. Uh, when they get here... You can see them coming, coming in, riding their mine carts to get here. There's three of them. There's number four. Right, so we got three standing here, right here. There's four. There he comes in, number five. But number six gets here, and seven and eight are on their way. Uh, there's number six. Okay. While while seven and eight are on their way, there's seven. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use this bell ringer pearl. 
and we will fight the four waves of the bell ringer. We'll fight them together. See that? <laughs> Wave one completed already. See, look at that. Just, just a couple of guards coming out, hanging out, helping out. You know, little stuff like that. It makes all the difference. Throwing down some strength and healing pots. Now wave four. Okay, a Vex got me. Okay, you want to fight out here? We'll fight out here. That's fine. Where'd you go? You, went back oh, you want to fight it back in there? Okay, we can fight back in there. Two minutes to finish this fight off. Okay. Oh, nope. Really need to put a roof on this arena. Make up your mind if you're going to be inside or out, would you?
don't think I'm gonna get him in the next 20 seconds. Where'd all my guards go? Dang it, nope. Okay. I just want to make sure they're all still alive. I didn't get any notifications that my guards died. One, two. I think that they, they do have they do retreat at a certain point if they take so much damage. So that might have been what they did. So yeah, one, two, three, four, I'm five. Missing. Three, four, five. I can do that. I'm missing three. Work, work. Oh, there's two more. Six, seven, and eight. Okay. So they're all still alive. That's good. So they're all going to go back to their regular duties. <laughs> I said duty. Soul heart. They should send all their drops via couriers back to the warehouse. Anything they picked up. Although since we didn't take out the bell ringer himself, I don't think we got the phantoplasm. Ooh. And my uh, Fletcher just dropped, now needs fewer sticks when he's making uh, fishing rods. That's always a good thing. Uh, projectile, Bane of Villagers, and Quick Charge. Actually, give me that book back. Enchanted books don't go in there. I have a I have a chest just for enchanted books. Toss the bones in there, seeds, all this other stuff. my enchanted book chest. Okay. So resort inventory. Put a uh, sword in uh, extra storage. Okay. So that was not as successful as I would have liked. Go ahead and clear that death mark. It's probably rel relying a little bit too heavily on the uh, guards to do the fighting. I mean, they did real well the first couple of waves. The last wave, not quite so much. Um, but I do want to. I need to make a roof for that battle arena, so that beings like the bell ringer can't float up out of it. Although he seemed to be able to phase through uh, the floor just fine. So that'll be that'll be an interesting one. But let's go ahead and move on to the Dame Fortuna fight. Oh, I had, I had it right there, actually. It's the Dame Fortuna Gate Pearl, Ender Pearl, Infernal Essence, over in the Alchemy Table. Infernal Essence is a Dark Power Gem, Dubious Dust, and Three Lapis. And the Mortar and Pestle. I went ahead and made the Mortar and Pestle last time. Uh, Dark Power Gem is just one of these. And the Blood Magic. I should have some Dubious Dust. And then three Lapis. Not Laps, Lapis. Okay. So we'll head over here to the Blood Magic area. Pop that in there. And I'm going to need to refill this here soon. I know we're doing it all. No, we're doing it in the uh, mortar and pestle. 
Got the mortar and pestle right here. It's a real easy thing to make. Just another quartz, iron ingots, and stone with a dash of lava in the mixing cauldron right here. Okay, so just get all the ingredients in there. It does everything itself. Woohoo! I wasn't sure if I was going to have to stand here and right click all this to get that to happen. It's kind of a neat, interesting little uh, thing going on. Infernal Essence. Now we need an Ender Pearl, of which I have a couple. Because thanks to my Ender Bee. We'll come over here. It's the Ender Pearl and the Infernal Essence and the Alchemy Table with sufficient Blood Orb. Okay, Dame Fortuna Gate Pearl. So task completed. I have no idea what the Dame Fortuna is going to look like or be like. So actually, let me get my... Why do I have this? Oh, I, I know I have a smoker in there. Okay. So, yep. All, the, all that's left for this upgrade is the coral fan. Dead horn coral fan. Unfortunately, the... the, the horn coral fan comes from the horn coral. I get dead versions growing it on a uh... yeah, horn coral is dead horn coral, which I can then cook to make the dead horn coral fan. But the only way to get horn coral initially is from the alchemist laboratory. What is it now? Yellow dye and fire coral. Well, the alchemist tower I have made, I have set up, but in order to build it, I need to be I need to have a level 3 university. Well, in order to get a level 3 university, I need to defeat Dame Fortuna. So that's something that's going to be next episode. Because uh, I might want to do some gear. I need to tweak, tweak some strategies. I wanted to do the Bell Ringer fight because I need... I, in my head, I need the Phantoplasm for something. I just don't remember what off the top of my head. My head's telling me one thing, but not telling me why. We've got a Fluix B, Enderium B, Cobalt B. It's all that fun we made making the Enderium. Went ahead, made a B, made a block of the Enderium, and it's now getting me an infinite supply of crude Enderium dust. Then I just toss in the arc furnace in the engineering area. Boom! I got a, I have Enderium. Now, before I go to completely squirrel, uh, to finish off one of the pages here, I know I'm, I'm squirreling all over the place. It happens. Uh, okay, just grab these. Actually, I'm going to toss some of this stuff. I'm going to toss that in there. These other rewards I just got, I'm going to send to them as building materials. Do I have anything compostable handy? Do I have anything on their compost list handy? <laughs> uh, see, but I might need those wheat seeds. I think I'm, I'm good for compostables right now. That's the only thing they're asking for. Um, okay. Finishing off, you know, as I go squirrel, finish off this whole page here. I need to make an enchanting table. Unfortunately, I can't make one of my own. I need to send all the stuff to the uh, enchanter. Or a mechanic can do it. Either or, depending on which one I ask for. Uh, but four obsidian, dark power gem, and book and quill. So give me obsidian. Oh, 
Book and Quill. Which I have plenty of stuff to make. And then actually I'm going to go with the... Give me two diamonds. We'll go with the mechanics recipe. Yeah. Don't have an enchanting table already. Learn how to spell. Enchanting table. One. Request. That's gonna it's gonna insist on the uh, the enchanting enchanter's recipe then. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Give me a dark gem. <laughs> we will make one of those here real quick. Zap over to the warehouse. And there's a lot of potatoes there. Drop it in there. Waiting for the, the delivery of the dark power gem that I just put in the warehouse. The enchanter's waiting on it. So zap home. Ugh. Okay. So we have Dame Fortuna. We will fight her next week. Waiting on the delivery of the Dark Power Gem. Put Dark Gem in the middle of a pool with at least five non-hardened blood blocks or infused Dark Gem with blood. Yeah. So once the... Uh, once that gets delivered, we'll be able to we'll finish off this whole tab. Let's get a time of tome of scrapping, uh, obliteration, and some warp bookshelves. The warp bookshelves I'll send on to them. Give them a fish. What's something we can uh, knock out here real quick? Warped helmet, warp stem, leather cap. Yeah, I think they can make the leather caps. Yeah, the Fletcher, they, they should have enough. So, Manulin, I guess we leveled up. Corrupted is Crimson Helmet and Corrupted Ingots. I don't have. If I make, guy, if I go ahead and request them to make a Crimson Helmet as well. They should have all the stuff for it. Yeah. Let's just make sure. I'm going to send them Stack of the Warped, Stack of the Crimson, uh, get those sent, oh no, I want to send those on to, send those on, and Enchanting Table, still waiting for the delivery of that, that should be, or let me guess, my villagers have all gone to sleep, haven't they? Yep, they're all in bed, so <laughs> that's why the Enchanter's waiting on the delivery! Ah. Uh, so, because the, the, everybody's gone to sleep. So, nothing can be delivered for the moment. Is there anything else I can just knock out here real quick? Whilst we wait. There should be silicon comb, ancient comb. Frosty comb. Actually, I don't need them, but I could probably make a couple of these upgrades. A 
Upgrade productivity. Upgrade base. Honey treat. Okay. Got the upgrade base made. I can't. Draconic chunks. Never mind. Can't make the can't make the productivity upgrade. <laughs> So can't make all productivity until we face down the Ender Dragon. Speed I've made a bunch of. Maybe, do I already have that one completed? Oh, I need to make the Not Baby. Okay, that's why. Not Baby. Oh, pff. Okay, I think I have the, up, the Baby upgrade stored over here. Not in there. Anti-teleportation. Maybe I don't have... Hmm. Okay. Maybe... The honeycomb block. And it's going to cycle through those. Okay. Great baby. I just do that. Not baby. Okay, Crimson Helmet. They're all still asleep as we stand here listen to the uh, sheep bleat around at us. Uh, yeah, you never, never know when you're going to learn fun, new, interesting things. Okay, Snobby B. Pokey Pokey Gene Sampler. Oh, I should, yeah, I definitely be, should be able to do that. Again, I cannot type to save my life today. I need more honeycomb. Where's my shears? I think I have enough sources of easy, quick honeycomb to get. There we go. And grab them out of there. Okay, that's the fourth of those that I needed. And the Pokey Pokey Gene Sampler. I need another upgrade base, which means I need another honey treat. Okay, and then I just need to make another diamond sword. Easily done. There we go. So that one's knocked out. Like the gene sample, gene indexer. Gene indexer. Right here. Redstone comparators, redstone torches. Okay, gene indexer. Vitamin B12. Okay. They're up and running. So then does that mean my enchanting table is delivered? It is. Chapter completed in service bound. But now, should I decide to make another one? The recipe for enchanting tables for myself has been unlocked. Because I saw how the colonists did it, so now I can do it myself. 
So the enchanting table. Let's go ahead and just put down. I would no. I'm gonna need to. That's right. I need to build some bookshelves and things around it. So we're gonna need to set up an enchanting area. Uh, which means we need to build an enchanting area. <laughs> So that that will be that will be a, a between episode project, but we have an enchanting table now. So hopefully I can get silk touch on something, just to have it on something. Uh, so recipe warped helmet. They should have everything they need. Although I th let me grab some rotten flesh. Get it processing into some more leather. So I've sent them... Oh, I have some leather right there already processed. Just to make sure they have enough leather to do this. Okay. They should have more than enough already, but just want to make sure they have enough to make the basic helmet so then they can add it to warped to make... The warped helmet, add some crimson to it to make the crimson helmet. And then that'll knock out that achievement right there. So I'm going to go ahead. It's a little bit shorter than normal. We did have that fight at the beginning of it. Um, uh, let's see, when I'm building the enchanting area, I believe there are some thing, extra things I can add to the area to boost the levels out of. But I'll have to look into that some more because I honestly was expecting to have my enchanter doing all this stuff. I didn't think about having to build my own enchanting area. I might look into seeing if I can get my enchanter to make a silk touch book for me. Uh, so we'll, we will see. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Be sure and give the video a like, give the channel a subscribe, and ring, ding, ring, clang that bell so you get notifications when these videos go up. Uh, like I said earlier, I do record these live at twitch.tv slash So come on out, hang out, drop questions, give me design suggestions and all that other fun stuff. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye now.